machine. They're either a benefit or a hazard. If they're a benefit, it's not my problem. Music man. Woo! October six, twenty seventeen. Whoa. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, Feels Reductions here, uh, reacting as you have seen to the Blade Runner twenty forty nine trailer with my dad. Um. I'm going to make a quick analysis of what the trailer shows us and what it might mean for the main plot of the movie. So, it's, obviously, it's not, not spoilers whatsoever. I have no insight on the movie whatsoever. It's only you know, suggestions and all that. Uh, okay, so let's get started. In the first few seconds of the trailer, we've, we see a snowy city. I'm guessing it's L.A., uh, you know, uh, picking off from where uh, the first movie ended, you know, same place. In the future, obviously, we have, uh, I think that's Ryan Gosling's character in Walking in the Snow, surrounded by a whole bunch of trucks, or, yeah, trucks going around. And I think those are motorcycles in the back. I, I can't really tell. Uh, and judging from the dialogue, it's Harrison Ford's voice, I think. Um, I think something, you know, you can tell something big has happened. It's been a while since the first Blade Runner movie, in, in, uh, you know, plot-wise. And, well, something big happened. I don't know what. Uh, the buzzes say keep clear. Uh, caution. Something big happened. Uh, I can't tell what. Uh, I'm going to have to do some research on that. But that's... Something big happened in, in this, uh, regarding uh, replicants uh, and Blade Runners. So, uh, the point I want to make a lot of emphasis on is the ending of the trailer when Ryan Gosling's character arrives at this, you know, this house or this hotel, whatever it is, in the middle of nowhere. I think it's a desert or something like that. You know, after many years have passed, and as I mentioned already, something big happened, right? I can't, I don't know what happened. We can see Ryan Gosling's character playing a Blade Runner, a very troubled Blade Runner. I guess, uh, looking for Deckard, you know, at the end of the trailer, uh, he comes out. So, and here we see uh, Ryan Gosling's uh, uh, full, a full picture of what, what Ryan Gosling looks like in Blade Runner. He's, they got the jacket right, that, that's the cool part. Um, I guess he is looking for him. Um, I sort of didn't like the, um, the casting for, for this new Blade Runner. I think they could chosen someone a bit more serious i don't know how it will play out uh, in the movie but uh, no you know no one fills uh, harrison ford's shoes no one can so well this guy better play it right or else i'm going to be very upset then we have harrison ford here uh showing up uh from behind he come he comes up behind ryan gosling's character and reveals it's deckard obviously he's got you know his his classic gun a very serious look and well judging from the dialogue then you know Deckard comes out and says I was really good at my job I was once in your job you know, where you're working uh, and I was very good at it so I guess Deckard uh, comes looking for him I don't know uh, 
regarding something with replicants and they need his help. Or, uh, which is my guess, is that uh, Rain Gosling goes looking for uh, uh, Red Deckard because he, you know he knows Deckard is a replicant. Uh, the fact that Deckard is a replicant is left ambiguous in the ending of Blade Runner. Whenever you can, you should watch it. If you haven't, you should. It's it's a very good movie. Uh, and well, it's in, it's left in ambiguous whether uh, Deckard is a replicant or not. But you know later. Over the years, uh, Ridley Scott has confirmed that Deckard is in fact a replicant. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know uh, what's so special about this replicant. Uh, I don't know where his, the the girlfriend is. I forget the name. Uh, she doesn't die. I don't know if she died or not. She probably did, judging by you know he's alone. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I I think. That Ryan Gosling goes looking for Deckard because he's a, a replicant. That's that's the main reason. But there's probably something more to it. Uh, you know, Deckard has a very strong connection to replicants, judging from the last movie. And again, I I I, uh, uh, I repeat my previous statement. He, uh, something big happens. Uh, I don't know why 2049 is such an important year. Uh, something something happens 2049 that changes the entire plot regarding the original, the first film. And well, we'll have to wait until 2017 to uh, to know what happens. Well, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, please give this a thumbs up, uh, share, and subscribe, please. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first reaction video. Uh, please comment if you would like to see uh, more of my analysis, less of my analysis. I know I can talk a lot sometimes, but well, that happens. Uh, make sure you come back uh, to check out in a couple of weeks or perhaps a bit more uh, to check out my new uh, Star Wars fan film titled Star Wars Retaliation. Uh, so yeah, um, it'll be ready in a couple of weeks or so. I hope everyone likes it and I hope you have the opportunity of watching it or a piece of it anyway. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, until next reaction video, see you next time.